All right, here we are at my laptop and let's get right into this. So first of all, when you look at the back end of Sampart, you're gonna see that the first thing that's gonna come up is all the different products you have. Now for this particular business, you can see here, we just started building it. We only have a few. And before I get into anything with the products, I wanna talk about the main parts of the platform that I really like, the positives. So the biggest one is the global settings for things like tracking and integrations. This is gonna be really easy to do. If you go over here to your account, you can just go into the settings app and right here under marketplace general, this is gonna give you all your major global settings. So the biggest one is gonna be your UTM codes, your Google uh, enhanced e-commerce tracking, and your tracking scripts. And what I like about Samcart is it has a place for tracking scripts on both the header and the footer. You guys can see that right here. You have a specific embed section for header and footer tags, which allows you to do things like use Google Tag Manager's uh, scripts, including, you know, it, it does have a header and a footer tag and it doesn't really operate correctly unless you have both of those. So it's nice, the product team at Samcart made that update so this runs correctly and any other tags you need that have to be in a specific spot, either the header or the footer section, will work on Samcart. It's got these great spaces that add it to every page. So this is really nice if you're trying to do something like tracking purchase conversions because you can have your all pages tag right here in the global settings and then in the product pages, which I'm gonna to get to in a sec, you can put your uh, specific product uh, tags for things like conversions, initiate checkouts, add to carts uh, in there, which is awesome. Another nice thing you'll see is that you have these UTM parameters you can add in automatically so that when people go through your checkout, they get UTMs appended. And so in your analytics platforms like Google Analytics, you're gonna be able to see uh, you know, where these conversions are coming from, uh, what what they're doing in the checkout and you're gonna be able to mark the campaigns they're coming through on so that you're able to understand your traffic better in your analytics platforms. That's nice that it has this built in. And then finally, it's got this great uh, section right here, Google Analytics e-commerce tracking. Boom, you turn it on and you have Google enhanced e-commerce tracking, which means that uh, if you're, you know, if you're a analytics nerd, you know that this is going to be building a data layer in the platform for you. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it basically what it does is it allows you to get all the information from your products, things like the product name, the price of the product, the currency that people are paying for your product in, and it will transmit that information to your analytics platform, which is awesome. So I really like that about Samcart. Going over here to products, this is the main part where you guys are all going to be working in, and there's some decent design features in Samcart, but you have to keep in mind, when you're designing a checkout, you're never going to have as much flexibility with how your checkout looks as you will on a content management system like WordPress or Webflow or anything like that. It's just not built for that. If you need to make highly detailed pages, what you're going to have to do is probably create the page in something like Photoshop and then upload it as a photo in the background. You're not going to be able to make super detailed pages on here, so I'm not even going to get into that. The big things though that are really great or when you go to edit this product, it's got a just really easy to understand interface where you're gonna have all the important information about your product, the basics of the background, what it's gonna look like. And then you're gonna have uh, here tabs for checkout design, payments, upsells, integrations, and advanced settings. So my two favorite tabs here, because they're amazingly simple to use, are integrations and advanced settings. So when we go into integrations here, in this example, what you're gonna see is for this specific product where uh, getting the person the offer in Kajabi, which has an integration with Samcart, which allows us to give someone a digital course and then send them an invite to the course along with their logins when they go through the purchase. You'll also see here on ConvertKit, the autoresponder we're using, it allows you to integrate with ConvertKit, pull in all the tags that you have in your ConvertKit system, and then apply those tags uh, for the product the person's purchasing. So in this case, we have different sequences, uh, and automations for different products. And this allows us to apply the tag that we created in ConvertKit for those specific products right here on Samcart as they're checking out. And then of course, uh, it allows you to do other things like take, take tags away from people if you're, you know, it's a, a, a overlapping purchase for a product and give the person the other tag. So there's a lot of great things you can do to integrate with, uh, you know, things, anything having to do with checkout where you need to get people logins or you want to get them a follow-up email sequence uh, post-purchase. The next thing is the advanced settings. I really like this area because it allows you to add all the tracking scripts you would want to have. So in this case, you can kind of ignore these. I'm using custom data layers to push information about our products into Google Tag Manager. But if you're just trying to do basic tracking, what's great is you can come in here and you can take things like Facebook 
uh, purchase, uh, purchase events with the Facebook, uh, tracking your out of the box, Facebook tracking that Facebook gives you these, these tracking codes for any type of event. And you can just drop them right in here on the different pages. And it has a very easy to have an embedded script for after the person checks out, which is really great. Oh, it seemed like I stopped sharing there for a second. Let's make sure. Okay. I'm still recording. So <clears throat> It's really great because it, there are different there are different tags that you're going to be using that you have to have in the header or the footer or on the checkout page, and this has uh, places for all these. And just to give you a quick example, when you're on the checkout page, you might want to send something like an initiate checkout or an add to cart event, and then when the person checks out, you might want to send something like a purchase event with the actual price, which is basically you can see here. That's basically what this is doing. Uh, but again, this isn't a standard event. This is a data layer event for Google Tag Manager. So you can ignore that. My point is Samcart has a really great setup uh, that makes checkout very easy to do. And then finally, uh, the, the last thing I'll say is that Samcart does have better design capabilities than some of the other checkouts. I'm not gonna get into the designer because that's a totally separate video. But overall, you know, I do like Samcart. I think it's got some great products. And uh, I think overall, it's a good choice for most businesses. Now, who do I think is Samcart's the best for? So what I think Samcart is the best for is I think Samcart's amazing for people that are running, uh, that are, have an audience and are trying to sell either a digital product or a digital course or an ebook or any kind of, really any kind of digital product, I think it's going to be best for. Now, you can use it for an e-commerce store if you only have a few products, but if you're someone that has, you know, hundreds of products, it's going to be pretty difficult to set that up on Samcart. You're going to need a storefront, uh, you know, like Shopify or Magento or something like that. But if you're selling a digital product, an ebook, a course, uh, you know, you're someone who's, you know, an influencer and wants to sell your own coaching packages or private memberships where you're going to uh, sell those. This is a great option because it allows you to have a seamless checkout experience and then integrate with any system you're using to host your course, whether that's Kajabi, Teachable, uh, even click funnels course back in whatever you want to use. This is going to integrate with it. So Sam cards great Now I mentioned in the start of the video that if you stuck around to the end I would tell you an alternative you can use if you don't like Sam cart If you really don't like Sam cart a great alternative is thrive cart thrive cart has very similar features to what I just described in terms of the global and product specific you know, checkout and tracking code uh, it has a decent editor. I think the editor, some people, uh, I've heard both good and bad about Thriveheart's editor in relation to, you know, Samcart, but it's going to be pretty similar overall and it's going to give you another option at a very similar price point. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want to see about Samcart or any other checkout software or other software. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure if you didn't already to like, give me a comment below, letting me know what you want to see. And if you didn't already, subscribe so that you can get notified anytime we come out with new videos on data-driven marketing, paid acquisition, analytics, any of that other good stuff. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.